Hello and welcome. Today, I'm gonna get straight to it. You guys asked me for this recipe on Instagram and for some reason, I decided not to post it on the channel. So I'm here to show you how I made this particular recipe because you guys went crazy for it on Instagram. And if you guys are interested in following me on Instagram, it's views on the road, super easy to find. Um, but for us, we're gonna get started on uh, boiling our pasta, okay? Get how flaky that is. To your pot of boiling water, you're gonna add your favorite pasta. You guys already know which one mine is, so I'm just gonna go ahead and pour it in. Today I'm using rotini, but I love this particular recipe with rotini or shells. It'll be up to you. You wanna make sure that you are cooking it to your directions, okay? We want them to be al dente. While our pasta is boiling and softening up for us, we're gonna get started on our onions and then we're gonna continue with our sauce, okay? So come in a little bit closer. To your hot pan, you're gonna add a little bit of oil, okay? Once you add your oil, you're gonna add your finely chopped onions. You can use yellow or white onions. It works with both. And all we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and saute these onions for about two to three minutes just until we get them very translucent. Once you've Sweat your onions a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and move them to the side and get started on our sauce. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna melt our butter. And you wanna move quickly because if you burn your butter, then you gotta start over because you're gonna have a really ugly sauce. Once your butter melts, you wanna add your flour and you wanna move quickly, okay? Because you wanna saturate all your flour with that delicious melted butter. So we're just gonna cook this flour in our butter for about 20 seconds or so. See what happens when you don't cook your your flour with your butter? You end up with like a floury tasting dish and that's not what you guys want. You want everybody to eat your food. See, we're all nice and cooked with our flour. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our heavy whipping cream. If you want this to be super creamy and rich and luscious, you do need heavy whipping cream, whipping cream. And if you really can't find both because sometimes they sell out so quickly, go ahead and use half and half. A lot of the times when you are making your little roux with your butter, if you add less butter and there's way more flour, you end up with clumps in your sauce and it takes a while to um, dissolve into your, your cream. So that's why you want to add enough butter to the flour portion. Okay? We don't have any bumps in ours, so we're good. Now I'm just going to warm up this uh, heavy whipping cream before we can add our cheese. Before we add our cheese, we're going to go ahead and add our chicken bouillon and I'm using a natural one with no MSG powder bouillon. Let me show you guys what that looks like. This is the one that I'm using today in case you're interested. Onion powder and paprika. If you don't have onion powder or paprika don't worry this will still be equally as delicious without it. Those are just the things that I like to add to my casseroles. Me too. This one in particular. So just mixing all those ingredients in here nicely, yeah. You know, that whole love thing. It's a love <laughs> train. What's that? Isn't that like one of your the funk love songs? train? Yeah, <laughs> like one of your funk. Cloud loves funk music, guys. She's a funky girl. That's right. <laughs> Our pasta's almost ready. I need about a minute or two left, so I'm going to go ahead and add my broccoli. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're really into this, aren't you, Cloud? I love broccoli. <laughs> So you want to press it down to silk, okay? No, the pasta is not going to absorb that strong broccoli flavor. What this is just going to do, it's going to soften enough the broccoli so that when we strain it, it's already started the cooking process and we're not stuck with nasty broccoli in our bake. And we still get a really beautiful green broccoli. And you're using the same water. Same water, guys. Got to conserve water somehow. Thank you, Captain Planet. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> So all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna leave this here for another minute or so, and then I'll strain it. But back to our sauce. We're looking nice and hot. I've lowered my sauce down yes, to a are. simmer. Ooh, it's okay. <laughs> all right, Cloud. So I placed my sauce on a simmer. You got me blushing over here, girl. <laughs> now I'm gonna start adding the cheese, okay? 
the cheese. The cheese. The cheddar cheese. And if you're new to cooking, this is not pre-shredded cheese. We just freshly shredded our block of cheese. That way it can melt nicely into our sauce. Thanks for reminding us, Cloud. Of course. Yay. I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to learn that hardness too. Yeah. There we go. So I'm just gonna continue to mix all this delicious cheese until we're nice and silky smooth, okay? Hang tight. My pan is still on a simmer, friends. I'm not gonna turn it up any higher because we don't wanna continue to cook this and then we end up with nothing, okay? We want something here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my onions. I think I have onions in almost every meal I try to. I love onions. Me too. So good, especially in casseroles. Yeah. Go ahead and mix that in there. Let me go ahead and strain my pasta and my broccoli. Okay, here's what we're gonna do next. Ready? Ready. Cloudy, ready? I'm ready. Beast Club, ready? Girl, they, they've been ready. I know, you guys are waiting for this. This is gonna be so good. This is Bebe's favorite casserole dish. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, it is. He talks about it all uh -huh. the time. He loves everything in here. So I'm Jeez. happy you're recording it so when he wants it, I can um, just watch the video. Well, so he can be the super emo. I try to be. You know, friends, if you wanted to eat it straight out of here, you can. But then you'd be missing on the little crispiness that you get from it being baked. It thickens up just a bit more. Once you mix everything together, now it's time for our next step. Friends, I know that some of you worry about me because I used to post daily, but our life has had a, what is it, turn of events? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so for those reasons, I will post as much as I can on this channel and on the sister channel, but we do have a lot of appointments that we're gonna be taking my mother to, so that's what we're gonna be uh, splitting our time with our family and making sure that my mother gets the best care she can and lives a happy and joyful life. So if you guys don't see me post every day, just come back and check me on the other videos. If you miss me, I'm always here. <laughs> and Cloud. That's right. Pour in all of your delicious, gooey, cheesy, creamy pasta ingredient. Yes. <laughs> oh my, oh me. <laughs> <laughs> And for the fun extra cheese pull, I'm gonna add a little bit of our cheddar. If for some reason you need more of a stringy look to your cheese, add a little bit of uh, mozzarella at this point, but it will change the color of your, of your dish, okay? So pick the cheese that you're comfortable with. I've converted a lot of you to enjoy uh, onions in your pasta. For example, macaroni and cheese. I should update that recipe for you guys because I was a little bootleg in there, sorry. <laughs> Our next step is optional, but it definitely gives it such a delicious flavor and combo of textures for this particular casserole, okay? So if you don't have this ingredient, don't worry, you can still make this, but if you get a chance and you're at the grocery store, look in your freezer aisle where the whipped cream is, where the phyllo dough, the pie crust is, and you're gonna find these pastry puff sheets. They are so amazing. They're super easy when you're busy and you need a quick, satisfying meal. So that's what's next. I've already rolled out my pastry puff a little bit longer than what it requires. And what I like to do, since the puff puffs up a lot, I like to poke it with a fork. It just depends on what look you want. And today, we're gonna poke it. The other day I was making a tart and I was poking at my, at my uh, crust mm -hmm. and I ended up making a hieroglyphic girl. Nice. I was so proud of myself. 
The pastry puff sheet usually takes about 20 to 22 minutes to cook and that's how long we're gonna keep this in the oven because everything else is already warm and it just needs to bubble up for us just a little bit. So we're gonna go ahead and bake this. Make sure to look in the description area for your bake time and uh, measurements for your ingredients. I'm gonna show you something else that I like to make with these little pastry puffs. So it's like a two-in-one type thing depending on what your family likes. Let me show you. You get two pastry puff sheets and you should let it thaw out for about 15, 20 minutes when you take it out of the freezer or else it'll do that. But you can get it to stick back together. Okay, so let me just move this one because this is what I want to show you guys. So I'm just gonna roll it out as much as I can. And you don't want to make it too, too flat because then you miss the whole point of having a puff. Okay. Now with my rolling pin, I'm just softening it up so it's easy for us uh, to roll. I sound like one of my ex coworkers workers um, <laughs> <laughs> It had to be perfect the way that he pronounced it. Maybe I should take that approach in my life. Yeah, he <laughs> wouldn't complete a sentence until it was perfect. perfect. I bet you he was a Virgo girl. He probably was. He probably was a great Virgo. Such a sweet man. Virgo moon in the house. Hey. hey, and I have no Virgo in my chart. That's why I'm so chaotic, friends. Taurus sun in the house. Ooh, Ooh. I have no Taurus in my chart either. <laughs> I won't tell you what my ascending is because then uh, you'll completely figure me out. Yeah, you guys don't. You don't tell them, Cloud. Don't tell anybody. I guess my ascending side down below. Yes, I'll tell you guys mine. Let's hear it. You guys can't tell by my big hair options. I'm an ascending Leo. Wow. I know, I know. Such a combo, right? That's a good combo. Yeah. Girl, I have my Cancerian that raids on my Leo parade, okay? Mm hmm I mean, don't we all just want to be a J-Lo all day long? <laughs> <laughs> no. No? <laughs> you pass, Club? I'll pass. That's too much energy for me. All right. So you're gonna come here and you're gonna cut halfway. And now we're gonna put some of our pasta in here. What? You're gonna do what, Steph? You're not even talking to me. I have to do my own my own conversation here. Okay, why? Well, what's what's going on, guys? What do we do with Cloud? Who's been keeping you up late at night, Cloud? Nobody. <laughs> my books. Your books. That's real love. That is love. Put a little bit of that nice cheese on there. I want to say they never let me down because books do let me down sometimes. I'll take that back. <laughs> now we're going to come over and we're going to seal it in. You can make these into squares like a pizza pocket. You can make them into whatever shape you like. I just think that these, I don't know, they light up my world. Light my fire. Guys, I think Cloud's in love. She's not giving me sound effects, nothing. What's going on, Cloudy? I am not in love. It's just a thing that you're going through? Mm hmm So I'm just going to press this in here. And if I was, do you think you would ever know? What, that you were in love? <laughs> yeah. I'm already noticing. What the hell? You or you're, know you're not in love, but you're moved. And I really like making these puffs to where none of them match, okay? Because I have the kids, I'll be like, which one do you want? And one always wants the prettiest one, and you know how it goes. Poke to let some of that steam out. Oh my god, the flakiness from these usually makes you guys melt completely. Okay, you heard my oven just went off that it's ready, so I'm just going to throw both of these in there so that I can bake at the same time. Yeah? Okay. Yes, I'm ready. Are you ready to fall in love with this delicious casserole dish right now? Yes, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Who else is ready? Let us know if you're ready in the comments.
You know, at least when I cut it, it's easier for me to scoop out a piece for everybody. Stop it, girl. I'm having an ASMR moment. And when someone loves ASMR, you don't speak. That gave me the chills. <laughs> Ready. Yes, I'm ready. Try it again, Cla. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Beast Club, are you ready? Yes, they're ready. Because <laughs> if I don't say that for them, you're not going to serve us. Oh my goodness. You just come back and take every other little piece that belongs to your portion. <laughs> no one left behind. There's pieces for Cloud. Look at how creamy that is. Oh. Oh, yes. This is so hot and steamy. Ready to serve. Or we're ready to taste this just like this. I can't resist them. They're so light, fluffy, and delicious. Mmm. That's so good. So hot. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> All right, friends. This is our family pleaser recipe. Please let us know in the comments if you're going to be making this dish. And if you end up making it, please come back and let us know what your family and you thought. So, on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!